Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Cool. Today I'm going to be reading for Capricorn. Sorry, my, my light is flashing and I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to be reading for Capricorn. This is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus. Or if you're a cross-watcher and you're interested in, madly in love with, or you just want to know how your Capricorn X is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you only wish positive things on people, no negativity please, because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on thee, my lovelies. And it'll end up biting you, blah, 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 blah. It'll end up biting you in the booty. If you don't want it, don't give it. Only give good, guys, only give good. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me properly. I really, really hope so. But I am not dealing with that. That is scaring the life out of me. My light is just constantly flashing. And I know it looks good, but I don't wanna, I've got two um, lights in my kitchen and that one is flashing. I've got somebody out coming out on the 21st to come fix it, but that? I do not like. So hopefully, oh, the magician and the moon coming out before we even get started. And again, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a lovely Easter, spending time with family and loved ones, all the people you care about and love. I just hope you're all having the best time, maybe having a lovely Sunday dinner. Oh, if this doesn't go up on Sunday, it'll be going up today, um, which is Saturday. Um, but yeah, must really go up Sunday. But if it's Saturday, it's up early. You're welcome. <laughs> you know I love my fellow Capricorns. I am, I am a Capricorn. So let's get started. Guided messages for my wonderful Capricorns. Let me move my leg again. Uh, there you go. Guided messages for my wonderful Capricorns. Nine of Cups. Coming up today. Ace of Wands. I don't take reversals because I pick up on the energy. So if I feel like the energy is off, if I feel like things are basically in reverse, then it's just my intuition I'm going off rather than taking the card. I feel like you didn't want that. But I'm gonna take it. Jesus, okay. Wow, okay. It's this one that you didn't want, isn't it? Is it this one? Yeah, I can feel it. And that one. Okay. I'll shuffle again. Sorry, my loves. They're just telling me and guiding me for you. And again. Ooh. Kind of messages for my fellow cat. Guided messages, my fellow Capricorns, please. Wow. Talk about that. I just heard. Talk about that. That's what I just heard. Talk about that. So this is a situation they want me to talk about. We have the Ten of Wands. Burdens. Demands overloaded. We have the world, completion, sex, sex. I wasn't meant to say that. <laughs> I was meant to say success. Um, eight of pentacles, which is like um, education, achievement, taking 
taking like um stack like stack of like what you've gone through what you're going through yeah i have achieved this i want to achieve this i want to go forward here i want to achieve this here yeah that's what i'm feeling it's like you're finally seeing all your hard work pay off right it's like this um nine of swords and ten of wands is like the old you and this world here is like the new you maybe you have long blonde hair or short blonde hair i'm hearing <clears throat> yeah i'm getting a brunette with long hair and then i'm getting a blonde with long hair yeah this is you now so you're overcoming hurdles you're learning Basically, you know, you're, even though you're going through these karmic cycles and it's really, really shitty and you're not liking going through these situations and they're really, really hard. And even though these lessons are like hard to get grips of and like they're most probably like triggering you of like what you've been through in your past, you're learning from these things. So it's like, oh, why do I keep on going through these things? Why do these cycles never end? Why am I always dating the same type of people that mess me around? It's because you didn't learn. You didn't learn. You were going into all these relationships. You were going into all these toxic, hard relationships. Or taking on everybody else's burdens. Because you wasn't learning. You wasn't holding yourself in high regards. But you know what you did? You let them go. Burdens be gone. Toxic people. Feck off. Don't need you in my life. You're pulling me down. And no longer am I going to be pulled down by negative people. No, 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 no. I'm worth a lot more than that. So what did you do? You learnt. This here is education. And this education is that you took everything that you went through in those relationships. Like I'm feeling like somebody was like constantly like pushing you and pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. And pushing you till you like. I see that you, you are very patient, you're very understanding, which, you know, as a Capricorn doesn't surprise me. Um, I am very, very patient, but I do have that switch. And if you keep on pushing me, I'm going to snap because I am Scorpio moon. And then when that Scorpio moon, that one that comes in, yeah, yeah, it pissed me off enough. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a chance to do it again. I'm not going to give a chance to do it again. This is what you've done. You've learnt so much. And because you've overcome these cycles, because you're now holding yourself in high regard, because you're following your dreams, your desires, your passions, all the things that you love, the divine, the universe, your spirit guides are like holding you so tight and they're raising you up. And they're giving you all the things, your dreams, your... It's like you've made a list of things you want to achieve over the next five years. And it's like, oh, I'd like to pass my driving test. Or I'd like to have that, that job by that dream location. Okay. For some of you, I'm... Okay, okay, sorry, it's just like a lot, it's a lot, sorry, for most of you, there's like, I'm, I'm getting um, somebody singing, like, um, express themselves, like, creative writing, maybe you write your own songs, um, I'm getting that, and I'm seeing somebody finally getting up and standing on stage, it's like it was a hurdle to get to this point, but now that you've got to this point, now you've got to this position, now you've over, overcome your, um, maybe it's like anxiety, you were nervous about getting up on stage. I feel like you got to this position, you held yourself up. You are seeing your worth, you're seeing how incredible you are, because you are. You're absolutely incredible. You're absolutely beautiful. You're absolutely handsome. I can see you. I can see my masculines here. 
30% of my subscribers are, are, are male and I can see you masculines, I can see you feminines and I can see how truly amazing you are. And for a while you didn't believe that, you didn't believe that you're incredible, you didn't believe that you're amazing. But now, now that you've overcome some massive hurdles or like me, you've lost an extreme amount of weight or you've, you've finally let go of um, toxic exes or maybe it's even toxic family members. These people like pulled you down for so long and you were trying to get on with your work, you were trying to... Sorry, lovely, somebody's ringing me. I got it, it's okay. Sorry guys, <laughs> just my sister, I'm, um, I'm basically um, babysitting my, um, not babysitting, my nephew's coming to stay with me. And that was my sister checking in. I was probably going, is he coming over yet? Is he allowed to come over yet? Uh, because Auntie Sue is fun, Auntie Sue. <laughs> Bless him, he loves coming to Auntie Sue's and um, yeah, he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> sleeps in bed with me and I've got a big fan on my ceiling and he calls it the helicopter room. He's like, am I sleeping in the helicopter room? I'm like, yeah, he's staying in with soon. Cuddler, best thing ever, having nephews. Right, well, nephew, I got, I got a nephew. Um, yeah, you, you really, really, you're victorious. You really, really are. And I think because you're holding yourself in high regard, because you're loving yourself first, um, you're now in the like perfect position right here, Knight of Cups. You're ready for this commitment now because you're not needing somebody else to make yourself, like you're not looking to be with somebody so you feel good enough. You feel good enough in your own. You don't need to be with somebody to feel desired because you know you're looking good, right? Right, I know, I know, I know. Put on this dress this morning. I'll um, go and I will check out my Instagram. It's at the Mama Core. Put on this dress this morning. I've got my new boots on. I've got tights. I haven't worn tights since I was like in junior school, since I was like six. Um, put these tights on. I was like, <laughs> size 14, guys, size 14. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling good, feeling good. And I was like flinging my hair, like loving my life. Did I mean, I know, I know. Fella Capricorns, I know. You're feeling it, you're feeling good. And you know what's happening? You're radiating. You're giving off this like glow, this like, um, it's like this like sunshine that wherever you go, people, like are looking at you and I feel <laughs> I feel like it's like people like whether you're doing your shopping or you're um just out like I, I walked the dog the other day <laughs> I went and walked <laughs> it's really not funny but it kind of is funny it was a bit of a bad situation I was walking my dog and I've got a staffy um I'll try and put a picture up here somewhere um and I was walking him um, I normally wear like my um, like my running um, like leggings and then my like workout top. Um, I'll try and put a picture up if I have it, but I don't think I have a picture of me in it. Um, which is like quite tight, like it puts the booty looking very very good. I'm always checking out my booty when I'm wearing these le these like leggings, these like workout bottoms. Um, booty looks good. I worked really, really hard on my booty, so, you know, I'm proud. Um, <laughs> I went down by my, like, local, like, seafront, walking my dog, and I'll put a little picture or a little, a little video up here of me out walking him, and, um, we go and see the swans and the ducks. Uh, Patchy really, really likes going and seeing the swans and the ducks. And as I was going down to about to go and see these swans, this guy walked across the road, like I'm on the path and he like walks across the road to come past me and he has got, 
oh my god guys i literally squealed like a little school girl he had an 18 week old baby staffy it was like a miniature per miniature version of my patchy but it was a girl and she had a curly tail and i was like oh like, and I was, like, running over so I could, like, see it. And I was, like, it's okay if I would, like, pet. And he's, like, yeah, it's fine. And her name was Bella. And he's, like, yeah, her name's Bella. You can pet her. And I was, like, oh, my God. Like, showering this dog with, like, affection. And Pat's, like, dude, like, what are you doing? So, <laughs> Patch wants to make friends. Every dog we pass, um, Patch has to be friends with. Then he gives him the, his mobile number. He's like, this is my landline. This is my mobile number. You can come around to dinner tomorrow. Very, very affectionate dog. So he was like giving this dog loads of affection. I was giving this dog a lot of affection. Like, it was just so, oh my God, she was so beautiful. She was so, so, so beautiful. She was like um, black and brown and she had bits of gold. Going, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So I was like, oh my God, like, you know, talking about, talking about the dog. And then as I go to like walk past, he goes, oh, do you, do you live around here? I was like, no, <laughs> I don't just come here to see my family members and stuff. I was like, okay. I was like, go, go, you know, walking up here. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, w I go to go see the swans talking to another elderly guy who I knew of. He knows all my family because I'm from obviously where I live, I'm from. Um, who I, I, I knew, and this guy with the puppy comes back and he's like walking across the road and he's like literally like going like this and every now and then he's like looking at me and I'm just like, <laughs> just like, so <laughs> I was like so embarrassed. Like I, you know, I've been um, a big girl for a long time and um I haven't had a guy literally fall over himself because he's looking at me. This guy, <laughs> this guy's walking his dog and there's like this bench that's like comes out into like the footpath where you can like look over like the water. It's really, really beautiful. He falls over. <laughs> he falls over the seat and he literally goes arse over to it like, literally the dogs like running like loops around it's just so it was so funny and I was just like oh and then I thought well I can't react because then he knows I'm watching him watching me and I don't know I can feel uncomfortable so I, I just pretended that I was talking to the elderly guy who I knew and then the elderly guy I knew <laughs> said bloody hell like you better go and give that guy you better go and give that guy a picture it'll freaking last longer I was just like oh god oh god oh god this guy walked right around up up like it's like a long walk around like the seafront walks right around took a loop back down the other side of the street to look at me and he kept on looking at me like i was just like feeling uncomfortable now feeling uncomfortable now just like i didn't know where to put i literally didn't know where to put myself where to look what to do and I was like Patch let's just go and I said to the elderly gentleman because he knew my family I was like oh I'll see you um I was like I'll see you again when I walk in Patch and he's like give me give love to your mum I was like yeah yeah well yeah I'm gonna go so I go walk off and I like see this guy walking behind me I'm just like oh Lord, he's gonna follow me he's gonna follow me it's gonna be really hard so I literally take a like a turn off like where's nowhere where I live um, I take a turn off and then like he goes and I don't see him again but I just thought it just gave me this like boost of confidence like this he was a good looking guy do you know what I mean and it was just it was really really nice and it just like gave my ego a little bit of a boost I've worked really really hard to lose my weight and to see somebody go out of their way just to look at me um yeah he liked what he he, he liked what he saw um because he made uh, two different turns and physically hurt himself just so he could look at me <laughs> it's so funny it was like um you know the benches that you get on the seafront it was one of them and he literally went over the whole bench it, 
bless him. That was a few weeks ago, and I haven't I haven't seen him since. But oh my god, let me clarify, okay, on your cards. Something is coming to light, my loves. You are about to get information. Um, you've gone through a massive tower moment, and I feel like it's you've let go of the all the burdens. You've let go of all. Um, People that no longer serve you, that are no longer... People that don't hold you in high regard. People that don't hold you to the standard that you hold yourself. Even in, in work, you know, it could be anything. Say if you're working really, really hard in work and you need this team of people to run your business. If you're the only one that is working your ass to the bone and everybody else is like, yeah, we have another coffee break, we have another fag, are, are, we, are we chilling here? Can we go and do this? Can we, uh, we have, yeah, yeah. You're like, we need, to, we need to work. And then we'll have a beer later, or we'll have a fag later, but we need to do this now. I feel like I'm frustrated. And you were like, look, I ain't dealing with this shit. I'm gonna put my money away so I can move away from this. But as soon as I've got my money saved aside, I'm letting go of all these burdens. That's why I put these cards here, because they've gone. Yeah, there might be a few, few little stragglers that are getting on your tits, but for now you can deal with them until you put this money away, right? Because you're putting this money away so you can travel towards somebody. You're moving towards somebody. You're manifesting somebody in. You're taking action to move forward towards somebody or somebody has taken the actions to move towards you, which could be a fire sign. Because I've got fire. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah, Sagittarius. Yeah, well, I was gonna say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but then Sagittarius came out. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Those fiery Sagittariuses. Oh, I know. I know. I get so pulled toward fire signs. I don't know if it's because I'm an AF sign. I have got Sagittarius in my own chart. But every time I'm around like a fire sign, especially Sagittarius. It's like electric, guys. It's electric. It's because I've got like two placements of Sagittarius in my chart. They're like, it's like an equal understanding. So if somebody else is, especially like your main sign is Sagittarius. I'm like, Bleh. get pulled in. <laughs> it's just like fun. I think you just have this like equal understanding of like, yeah, I'm serious when I need to be, but then like, let's have fun. Yeah. Sex life is amazing too. Mm -hmm. Right, um, Seven of Cups and I have got the Eight of Swords in reverse. You are finally taking off this mask or some... No, I feel like somebody's finally taken off their mask and they're finally going to tell you how they feel. That's what this is. Somebody's made a choice. Yeah, and it's this fire sign. It's this fire sign. You're going to finally get the information. And I feel like you've sensed it. You've sensed it the last couple of weeks. You've known. There's been, like, music popping up. There's been, like, people saying things. Or, oh, my God, I had this the other day and it freaked me out. There is somebody that I have always had a soft spot for. This guy is such a good-looking guy. He's so freaking good-looking. Always had a soft spot for him, right? And recently he's been in my thoughts and been wondering how he is, not in contact with him or anything like that, right? <laughs> well, I haven't spoke to him in a while. And um, I ordered a home delivery because I wasn't feeling right. It was during the time that I was, um, that I was not on YouTube. Um, so I ordered a home delivery. All the shopping came to my house. So there was a knock on the door. I go to open it, knowing that it's home delivery. Got all my bags ready to pack everything in the bags. This guy is stood there that looks, I mean, he was a spitting image. He wasn't him, but he really looked like him. And I went, <gasps> like that. He was like, is everything okay? I was like, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's okay. 
yep, it's okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's okay. And then the whole time he was going to like get the other baskets and like bring them in and then I would unpack it. The whole time I was just like, what the, what the, what the, <laughs> it was so, so, so freaky. It went like identical, but like his features and everything like that. And I thought, what the hell? If you've been trying to manifest somebody in or somebody's been trying to manifest you in, yeah, you're gonna start seeing things that reminds you of them. Having music play that just randomly pops up that makes you think about them. You're gonna be dreaming of them sexual dreams about them that feel so intense that you most probably have maybe a little bit of a wet dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, <sighs> you wake up and it's just like, what the? <sighs> like, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that is? Do you know where that is? Because this person is doing it as well. You're feeling them just as much as they're feeling you. And in those dreams, you're feeling them. Mm -hmm. Feeling them. Mm -hmm. I guarantee this person's manifesting the shit out of you. Can I have clarity on... Yeah, the magician, actually. Clarity on this magician. Ooh. This person knows that they've got competition, but it's not, they're not fretting about it. They see that there's other people looking at you. Yeah, they're, they're looking, they're watching you online. They get, they've got all the information together. They've seen, hold the cards, Suzanne. Um, they've seen all the information about you. They're looking at you on social media. While this person hasn't been talking to you, because um, you haven't had the clarity yet, this person's been watching you online, looking at your pictures, most probably having to sort themselves out because you're looking so fucking damn fuck. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing. <laughs> That's what my spirit guide said, so. Miss Ace of Wands, please. Oh yeah, equal partnership. New beginnings. This person's coming forward and again, and again. Oh. Yeah, ace of wands, ace, ace, ace. Are you freaking kidding me? Ace of wands, clarifying the ace of wands. Somebody's traveling towards you. Somebody's got a freaking major, major passion towards you. If you haven't had sex with this person, yeah, prepare yourself. Jesus. This is, I can't, literally can't take my hands off you. I can't take my eyes off you. Like that guy falling over that um, chair. This is how you two are together. And it's equal. This is very, very equal. Equal give and take, an equal partnership. You're both holding each other in high regard. Your thoughts and feelings are being listened to on both ends. You both care and want to nurture each other. You, this is longing. This is like Frickin' hot, steamy sex, guys. <sighs> there's like, you've both got like fire in your chart because there's a lot of fire here. This person's stressing though. Yeah, can I have clarity again for this? On these, okay. 
Let me clarify this Five of Swords. Yeah, I clarify this Five of Swords for their love interest. Knight of Cups again. Yeah, proposal. Somebody's coming in, holding that cup of emotions, ready to show you exactly how they feel. They don't want to risk losing you. You think this person's not interested in you. The em oh. No. I know. Three of Wands. I've got the Hangman in reverse, which is basically like um, reflection, seeing things from a different angle, having a different perspective, being enlightened. It's like a it's like a rebirth because you're seeing things in like a whole different way, or seeing somebody in a whole new light. Um, and then I have the Emperor. I've got the Emperor and the Empress, a divine couple. Are you freaking kidding me? You two are both meant to be. The reason why you feel this pull towards each other, the reason why you're longing for each other is because you're both meant to be. The, the reason why you're dreaming, the reason why everything is aligned, all these burdens on both sides have been dropped. This tower moment needs to happen because you both needed to come into alignment. You needed to both come onto your path to come back into each other's lives because you both have a higher purpose together. You both have a mission on this earth. And the reason why you're both being pulled towards each other is because you both love each other unconditionally. Nobody loves you like this person loves you. And nobody loves them like you love them. And they know it, and you know it. They've never desired anybody as much as they, they desire you. It's like, even if it, they're up all night, stalking you on, like, keep on, like, looking at your pictures and, like, trying to get the courage together to come towards you. For a while, I feel like they didn't feel like they were good enough. You can do better. I can't be with somebody like you. I can't live up to what you want me to be. I'm not the person that you think I am. That's what they're thinking. And in your head, all you're thinking is you're amazing. Why did that name just come into my head? Sorry. <clears throat> that was crazy. <clears throat> A name of somebody I know just came into my head. I went, you're amazing. And then um, I heard, you're amazing. And then their name. And I don't want to say that person's name on social media. Um, but yeah, if you're... My name begins with S, so if your name begins with S, then um, you need to um, start seeing how truly incredible you are, how this person, how your love interest, whether I'm speaking to Crosswatch or whether I'm speaking to Capricorn, okay, um, you need to see how truly incredible you are. You need to look at yourself, how this person looks at you. And how they're looking at you right now is they're totally in awe of you. They're just like, wow. Oh my God. It's like they they idolize you. Like you're the best thing since sliced bread. Like you take this, breath, this person's breath away. They haven't seen anybody as handsome or as beautiful as you before. And they're getting frustrated with themselves that they're they're looking at you online and they're like, oh, you know, I just, you know, I, I, why am I doing this? I just write, today I'm not going to look at them online. 
I'm not going to go on Facebook and I'm not going to look online. How's that going? How's it going? It's not, is it? No. No. <laughs> oh, looking at their profile picture and going, damn. Oh, damn. They'd be looking all sorts of fine. Mm, can I just like kiss you? Just pin me up against this wall. Just come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Just throw me around. Just, just throw me around. Just like smack my booty. Just, just do what you want to do. Go on game. Let's go. <laughs> Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Allow it. Get out of those fears. Get out of that ego. You don't need it. You two are coming together. I could feel it. I could feel the excitement. I could feel the... Um, it's like this like, giddy energy. It's like you're sorting out your house because you know somebody might just pop up. You desire love. You are lovable. You're enough. Listen, cross watcher, Capricorn, you are enough. You're amazing. You're incredible. Everything that is going on with you is perfection. And I know people say, no, he's perfect. You are. Hold yourself in higher regards. Love yourself because you're amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, but what if they don't like um my bum or what if they don't like what if i'm not small enough or what if my boobs are saggy i know what you're thinking what if my bits ain't big enough you know what? It's, it's perfect do not show me images Past life relationship, you have known each other before. You're coming back together because you love each other and you can't hold back any longer and you're going to bring this cup of love forward. Love yourself first. What I said you've been doing, literally, that's just proof what I said. Because you've been loving yourself first. What you've been doing is you've been giving yourself the self-respect that it needs. And it's making you more romantically attractive by this person. They're like, you teach me your ways. I want to hold myself in high regard just as much as you are. Because you're, you're not just loving yourselves, but... Because you're in this like really uplifting, positive place. When you two come together, it's like everything that you touch, whether it's each other, um, whether it's you go into business together, whether it's you're starting a new business, whether you're in your old business, everything flourishes. Because you both have this like amazing, like positive impact on each other. You help each other grow. <laughs> Damn sexual tension. And people are going to be like, oh my God, you, you two are like, whoa. You two, you two together, like, everybody feels it. Everybody that is around you both. Even when you're not like official, you're not like dating, you're just like hanging with each other, just like, enjoying each other's company everybody's like oh my god your new girlfriend's like so nice and you're like she's not my new girlfriend just hang in you know oh my god i love your new boyfriends like you two are like so cute together like you two are hot like uh. yeah that's what i'm hearing or like i can see like Either family members or like really close, like friends of family, like laughing at you both. Because you two are just like, yeah, you just have like lots of fun. What's Capricorn's love interest, true thoughts and feelings? I 
And do you know what it is as well that I'm seeing? Is that you're both really adventurous on your own. Um, yeah, you're not... When people are with you, they don't get bored. But I feel like being with this person, um, Capricorn, Crosswatcher, I feel like you two bring out a whole like new part of yourselves and I feel like you're like even like sexually you're opening up and like say if you haven't used like toys in a relationship before or um you've always had like fantasies or I don't know like I'm seeing something with food something with food and oils. I'm smelling like coconut oil. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You just feel so at ease with each other. It's like, well, do you know what? I actually... I've actually, like, really wanted to, like, cover myself in, like, chocolate and, like, have it licked off or... I really, really want to try, like, outdoor sex. Like, how do you feel about that? Hmm? This person's like, okay, well, let's go. <laughs> I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me. That's before the tower moment. I want to be there for you, there to take care of you. I'm just getting the money together and then I'm on my way, I just heard. <laughs> I can't bear myself to open up to you and let you in. It scares me so much, I just heard. But I think you're worth it. Nobody makes me feel the way you've made me feel. That's what I'm hearing. You're the only one who understands me. At such a deep level. And that's why it scares them. Because they feel like you're gonna like judge them in a way even though you would never dream of doing that. I think even though like obviously people can do wrong, I feel like in your eyes this person couldn't do any wrong because you only see them in this wonderful light. I'm getting a very nurturing, feminine, just wanting to love and nurture the masculine. I love your sense of humour. I'm, I'm just seeing somebody laugh. It's like, I'm sort of a freaking idiot. That's why I'm just saying you're an absolute idiot. Yeah, it's really sweet. The kindness in your heart is so beautiful. That is, um, I'm actually seeing, um, oh my God, I don't want to tell anybody that though. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to say that. Sorry, I'm speaking to my spirit guides. I don't want to speak about that. I'm sorry. My nanny Taylor's telling me to speak about something and I don't want to speak about it. <laughs> sorry, I don't, I just don't want to talk. Okay. Um... Basically, I'm not going to tell you what I do um, because I I don't want to be like, oh my God, you're amazing for doing that. I, it's something that I do, it's something that I've done um, for the last four years. Um, when I get paid every month, um, I go out um, either in my local town or wherever I'm. Um, sometimes I've been at conferences, um, really far from my hometown um, and basically I put between £100 to 100, 150 pounds £150 is the most I've I've spent um, oh, I don't I don't want any praise for this I don't do this for the praise I just do it to pay it forward okay um, because I know that 
I've been in a really bad position and I've had no money and I know what it's like to be at the bottom and struggle. So um, a certain time of every month, I go and try and find somebody to pay something forward, whether it's no money and I'm just doing a task for somebody or um, one time I was in a shop, um, I was at a checkout and there was a lady and a, a 16 year old girl and um, the girl was crying at the end of the checkout. And um, basically the mother was saying, we're just gonna have to put it all back. We're gonna have to put it back, I'm sorry. And she was holding her daughter by her face and she went, I'm so sorry, I promise I'll make this up to you. And her daughter was crying. Oh my God, don't get upset. Um, it was in my local um, Iceland where you can get like loads of like party food and stuff like that. So this girl was putting everything back in the trolley and they had like a big food shop. Um, she was putting everything back in the trolley, she had tears and mascara all down her face. And um, I went up to this trolley and I started putting all the stuff back on and I said, I'll, I'll pay for it. And the woman just like dropped to her knees and she went, what? And I said, stop, I said, I'll pay for it. And then all, um, all the stuff just came, the, the 16 year old girl was just like, didn't, I think she just went to a different reality. She didn't know what was going on. And the woman was like, Are you, no, I can't, no, no, no. And I was like, right, I don't care. So I started putting the stuff on because they were just like in a world of their own. Um, the checkout person had already put my shopping through and then he, he was putting the other stuff through and he said, are you really paying for all this? And it came to like just under 160 quid. And I said, yes. So I paid for my card. And um, the woman said, I know, you know, this is like a couple of months ago now. Um, she said, I know with COVID and everything, I can't hug you and I can't touch your hands. I have my mask on. And she said, please, please, can I know your name? And can I, can I hug you? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we like hugged and she like really like gripped my hand. She like really like held up onto my hand. Like it was quite painful actually. Um, went like that and she said it was my, it's my daughter's 16th birthday. Um, tomorrow, and I was like, "Well, oh, that's my, that's mad." I said, "It's my, um, my son's 16th birthday on the weekend." Actually, I said, "That's, that's really mad." Um, and she went, "Oh, really?" And I said, "Yeah." I said, "16." And I was like, "Oh, that's coincidence, isn't it?" And she went, "Well, um, I just told her to like, we're gonna have to cancel the party. I just, <laughs> I've just been made redundant." And um, we couldn't afford it. And because you've done this today, my, my daughter can now have a party and she can now have her friends around. And I just said to her, it doesn't have to involve money. All it, all it takes is you to pay this forward. So I said, if you ever see somebody struggling, whether it's somebody they can't cross the road or like an elderly person trying to cross the road, or you just see somebody that just needs kindness, I said, surround that person in kindness. That's all I ask, just pay it forward. And she was just like, you're an angel. You're like a, you're my guardian angel. She said, are you from where I'm from? Um, and I said, yes, yes, I'm from the area. And she said, I'm going to make sure everybody knows about you. I was like, no, 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 no. I said, no, I don't want anybody to know about me. I've just done this to pay it forward. That's all I've done. And um, yeah, I've, I've been doing it for three years. And um, I've got, so if you'd ever like want to know about all the stories that I've got about paying stuff forward, I've got some really incredible stories um, about paying it forward and what I've done. Um, yeah, one of them was with my mum. We were both in tears because um, we did something for a very elderly lady who was very frail and she needed help. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to know about my uh, pay it forward, um, things then I'll do a separate video um because some wonderful things have happened from doing that and um yeah helping people I just love doing and I feel like that's what you and your love interests are like um you're very generous you're very kind I feel like you're both teachers so you're very high up in your own jobs 
you teach people. People listen to you. They're like, yeah, okay, so I need to do this. And then I, all oh, right, okay. Like I, I see somebody go, all oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay. Like you're teaching somebody something. Can I have a chakra card for Capricorn, please? Can I have a chakra card for Capricorn, please? Yeah, I was, I don't mind doing a video. I just don't, like I don't want any praise. I don't do it for the praise. I just do it to pay it forward because I'm, I'm grateful for the position I'm in because I know what it's like to have nothing. Um, sacral chakra, yeah, this is why the sex is on fire. Or it will be on fire. Whew, potential. I am alive with potential and fertile with possibilities. Oh yeah, you are. I allow my dreams and desires to gestate and birth. I am expression of the infinite potential of the universe. I nurture my potential and possibilities. All is possible. Yeah, because you both thought this would never come together. And now there is a possibility. You're like, what? Communication. I communicate with others in a healthy and meaningful way. My communication are constructive, honest, and purposeful. I communicate with respect, positive regards, and an intention of growth for all. Sacral chakra, creativity. I am free to play, free to, free to love, free to laugh, and free to experiment. What did I say? What did I just say? Guys, there is nothing wrong, nothing wrong with being sexual. If you have got a kink that you want to try out, try it out. And if you feel comfortable enough to try it with somebody that makes you feel comfortable, that doesn't force something on you, live your best life. This is what you two are going to do. And it's like, I just feel like you just feel so free. Like it's almost as if, You've both got your own lives and then you come together and you're like, when you come together, but then you can both like have your own independence. That's what I'm seeing. Sacral chakra creativity. Yeah. This is um, water element. I am free to experience, free to create, and to manifest, I am free to be myself. Oh my God, this is literally... Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I allow my creative potential to flow through me in all the glory of manifestation. I am free to be myself. Right across here, I am free to... myself I am free to be myself I love myself I am amazing I am beautiful I am handsome hold yourself up you are so incredible what you've achieved is unbelievable people might not tell you how incredible how magnificent how creative how abundant how worthy you are I am telling you you're amazing I love you so much. I am so proud of you. So, so proud of you, of what you've overcome, what you've achieved and where you are going. Because I know you are gonna achieve great things. Thank you so much for your love and support. I hope this resonated with you. Happy Easter, my loves. I hope you're having a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye Capricorn. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. See you next time.